If you don't know the tech news, you can't give any tech tips. No tips about the news. Exactly, and then what are you gonna give tips on, huh? The economy? Come on, get real! Just the tips. It looks like this is the last day you'll ever be able to mine Ethereum on a GPU, as the long-awaited merge is expected to be imminent. At the time this is going up, it's in a few hours or something. I feel like a high Templar. <laughs> In case you haven't heard of it, Ethereum is moving to a proof-of-stake model, which means that if you want to continue passively generating ETH, you'll want to invest or stake the network with however much of the cryptocurrency you want. At least 32. The more you stake, the more you'll make back, just like a regular investment. And it just goes up all the time, every time. Up, up, up. Line goes up. A big reason the merge is happening at all is because the Ethereum devs wanted to make the blockchain less of an energy hog, with power consumption expected to drop by well over 99%. And while the transaction rate and gas fees shouldn't significantly change post-merge, the whole thing will at least be a heck of a lot greener. And still used for scams by people, probably. It's looking more and more like the RTX 4090 is launching this year because the trickle of leaks about the card has just turned into a full-on burst pipe. It's coming in October. Is it? For sure. Not only have two new versions of the board shown up, a monster quad slot design from Lenovo and another one from Gigabyte, Moore's Law is Dead just reported that we'll be getting the RTX 4090 next month. That's October. That's it, I think so. With the 4080 and 4070 following after that. This is great news for folks who wanted a shiny new graphics card under their Christmas tree or their non-sectarian holiday plant, and we should be getting some more news very soon at NVIDIA's upcoming Project Beyond event on September 20th. And with as many add-in board options as we're rumored to be getting, hopefully NVIDIA goes beyond with the supply situation too. Everybody should have a GPU. You know, there's no reason why well, not. It's probably just gonna be one of the 3000 series though. They got lots of- But it's something. It's a human right. And Sony has let a bunch of gaming sites and creators go hands-on with their upcoming PlayStation VR 2 headset before they release it early next year. Not the feedback overall seems to be really positive, and that's not just because there's probably at least a few gaming journalists in there who just haven't played VR very much at all. Oh, it's like, feels real. Where am I? And I'm puking. The PSVR 2 is a huge leap ahead of the PSVR 1, and even has some big improvements over the Oculus Quest 2. There's automatic IPD adjustments, higher resolution pass-through cameras, eye tracking with support for foveated rendering, and haptic feedback in the headset. So no need to strap rumble controllers to your head anymore. That's, that's that was a bad idea to start with. I don't know why you... Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Brilliant, the hands-on interactive way to learn STEM topics. But how do you go hands-on with things like numbers when they're abstract constructs that only truly exist on the mental plane? The answer is brilliant. They've got thousands of courses with new topics to learn each month, like computer science fundamentals. You can use Brilliant to augment your college education or just use it to get smart, because understanding even just the basics can help you troubleshoot all kinds of problems. But if you need another reason, the first 200 people to head to brilliant.org slash techlink will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So go on, get smart. Quick bids are always there. They're pretty bad at picking up cues. Let's just, just leave. Voice chat support for Discord has finally made its way onto the Xbox as of today, bringing the popular line of consoles that much closer to delivering a PC-like experience, especially as the Xbox Discord app allows cross-platform chat. Xbox rival PlayStation supports Discord account linking, but still does not have voice chat support despite announcing a special partnership with the chat app earlier this year. Special operation. <laughs> Analysts looking at footage of the deal have determined that while Sony and Discord were shaking hands, Discord was crossing their fingers. Speaking of Xbox, you probably remember the Nintendo 64 classic, GoldenEye 007. Well, 25 years later, it's coming to Xbox Game Pass alongside the Nintendo Switch, what? making a genre-defining game much more accessible to current audiences. Modern touches will be added, like native 16 by 9 support and dual analog stick controls. Two thumbsticks, that's cheating. I know, right? Even if I'm odd job. <laughs> that actually... <laughs> but online multiplayer will be exclusive to the Switch version. They should really just call Q, as I'm sure he could rig something up. Oh, you want to pwn your friends, do you, Bond? Opposite of Halo Infinite. <laughs> iOS 16 is going to try and automatically minimize your carbon footprint when something called clean energy charging. 
Basically, it tries to figure out when the grid feeding your home is using cleaner energy sources and selectively charging at those times. You can also set it to only accept energy produced by power plants whose facility managers haven't said anything problematic on Twitter. It's really cool. There was a scare at Northeastern University in Boston yesterday as someone sent a dangerously pressurized package to the school's VR lab, with one person suffering hand injuries as he opened the parcel. A note inside indicated the currently unknown sender sent the package because he had some kind of beef with Mark Zuckerberg? Did this person think Zuck was there? Like, anywhere people are using VR, he shall be there also. <laughs> this package is full of hot air. <laughs> A cool bit of news from the robotics world as HP has shown off their new SightPrint robot. Designed for construction workers, the little bot that kind of looks like one of those autonomous lawnmowers can print blueprint elements like outlines of doors and walls onto bare floors at construction sites, giving workers more time to actually build buildings rather than work on planning. And soon, that'll be a robot job too. Every building will either be boring cubes or they, it'll look like it came out of an art generator. There's either no door or it's all doors. Or it's all doors. <laughs> and it is time to stop generating this episode. Come back on Friday for more tech news, and we promise we won't replace your job with an AI. That's the deal. But more to your job, Riley. Uh, not, I'm not gonna, no.